I'm dreading Chaz coming back. Why? She ought to be grateful for all you did for her. Rub her nose in it more like. I lost, she won. That's all she's going to say. Been talking to Jack and Andy about the christening. We, we thought it was time we got together to sort out arrangements. So, I've invited him over. OK, I won't like that. Oh, I've warned him not to make trouble over this. I'll make some sandwiches. Hey, maybe you could pop to the shop and get us a cake, Del. OK. We're going to make him welcome. No chance. With Dad, Jack and Andy round the table, it's bound to end up in a row. Come and join us, Debbie, love. What's the point? No-one takes any notice of me. You're all too busy rowing. <coughs> it's your baby we're talking about. It's about time you start taking a bit of interest. I've uh, brought the order of service. I thought it might be helpful. Why? What, you think we're all such heathens we've never been in a church? Well, in your case, that's not far from the truth. Well, time was you felt the same. You and Lisa had a proper dingle ceremony for your vows. You didn't bother with all this nonsense. We are having a church christening. It's been agreed. <sighs> Nothing's been agreed. Let's have a look at this. At the appointed time, the godfather and godmother and parents with a child will be ready at the font. Well, that's not right, is it? How can you possibly object to that? Well, he's wanted nothing to do with kids since days you were born. Why should he be at font? Because that's how it's done. You can't go changing the prayer book. Look, can we concentrate on things that we can organise? We'll provide the christening room. Uh, we've got one already, thank you, Jack. Uh, well, I think you'll change your mind when you've seen ours. It served three generations of Sugdens. Both me and Joe have been christened in it. Then it's about time you pensioned it off, innit? Yeah, are you saying ours isn't good enough for you? You lot are never going to agree on anything. I don't care what you do, just count me out. Oh, look, I am really sorry about all the rowing. This christening's nothing to do with Sarah. It's just about family scoring points. Yeah, well, I think you walking out finally made him realise that. They started to get on a bit better. You mean they're actually agreeing on something? They've got the hymns. It's not much, but it's a start. How about the christening robe? We're going to leave that for another day. Best to quit while we're ahead. Well, the meeting's finished, so it's safe to come home now. Next time we have a meeting, I'm going to make sure everyone listens to you. I know you mean well, Em, but I still don't want anything to do with it. I promise you there'll be no more bickering. Everyone's really sorry about what happened today. And we're all working for the same thing now. Trust me. Everyone loves little Sarah and that's what's important. You know I don't. I've told you that before. I still think you'll grow to love her in time. I won't. She's always crying, she always needs feeding or changing. She's like a full-time job. A lot of new mums get the baby blues in the first few months. We could talk to Dr Forsyth about it. He might be able to help. I don't want to talk to anybody. This is not going to go away. The only time I'm glad I've got her is when I collect my money from the post office. <laughs>